Yo, 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 peace and blessings. Welcome back to another episode of Creative Success. It's your boy, Burnout Washburn. I want to share some good vibes with you today on emotional intelligence and self-awareness and just overcoming like hard situations. If you've been dealing with any arguments, tension in any relationship, stress, drama, anything like that, I think this video is going to help you out a lot. So basically, I just went through the first little tense like argument type thing that I've had in in a long time like I'm so sensitive to that stuff now because I'm on such a high vibration that like when it's even like the smallest little argument comes up it's like whoa oh my god you know like I almost freak out for a second because it's like I want to be like on this like perfect vibration or something you know what I mean which is obviously unobtainable but like I forget that our emotions are like beautiful self-awareness tools they tr they teach us about ourselves wayne dyer has a quote that says if you squeeze orange and orange juice comes out it's because orange juice was in an orange and it's something like that i might have just said that completely wrong but basically like he's like saying so like with a human like if anger comes out when when a human gets squeezed that means there had to have been anger inside of that human and it makes us deal with things and be aware of them and our emotions like in some of the most traumatic tense experiences teach us about our emotions and things we didn't even know like I got a little angry and just like really heated for a second and wanted to freak out and then I wanted to like like my first initial reaction was like freak out and punch something and then my second reaction was to like go cry and feel like a victim and feel like I'm like, such a good person why is this person treating me this way and like it just it showed me oh shit there's a little bit of victim mentality still dormant inside of me that can come out when I'm triggered. Damn, I thought I'd like overcome that. Okay, that's something I need to work on. Beautiful, okay? And then I got angry, like, oh, I thought I had like a limit. I haven't felt anger in a long time. And I was like, man, and it was funny because right when this scenario happened, I was just about to go do a gratitude meditation. I was having an amazing day. Everything was great. About to go do a gratitude meditation and then take an ice bath and then a simple like text conversation and misunderstanding just kind of got blown out of proportion and I haven't argued or gotten tense with anyone in a long time but it was actually a beautiful like learning experience and it reminded me of like first of all how grateful I am that I've gotten emotionally intelligent enough to where those situations aren't like occurring on the regular like they used to be because they used to be happening pretty often like there was a time where that was like daily for me like getting getting that hated about something was like daily and that's sad I can't believe I used to get that he did but I learned a lot through all of that and I became more more emotionally intelligent and, and more emotionally fit so now I don't really it doesn't happen as often but when it does I take it as a learning experience and say okay what was inside of me that triggered that I take full responsibility how did I create allow or attract even if I wasn't necessarily like doing something wrong and I could make a million reasons that are completely valid of how they're in the wrong and I'm not or how they're more in the wrong than I am or something like that, I could, and they could all be 100% true, but that's not the, that's not what matters. What matters is I can, I can't control them. <laughs> I can control how I respond and behave and react and I control my behavior moving forward of how I could prevent situations like that and how I can take action to not put myself in situations or to just be calm, more calm when they do happen and not have to have a freak out. But it's also, it's okay, sorry, the video is so shaky. I'm like, ah. <laughs> um, I need to get like a tripod or something for this phone for real. But anyway, um, I learned about, you know, I, re I like also remembered like this, I've had conflicts with this person before and I remember that's just kind of how they are sometimes. Like they deal with their emotions a little differently than I do. And time after time, almost every conflict's been the same. Something doesn't go according to plan or it's not working out they kind of blow up they get really heated for a second they'll kind of feel like they're attacking you for a second and then the storm will calm and they'll work out they'll end up apologizing and like say sorry I'm stressed at work or I have so much going on that I just get in the moment I get heated or whatever and this and that and I say things like I don't mean or I'm texting fast and it comes out wrong so always give people the benefit of the doubt too when they are getting heated at you just remember like they might be going through a lot of stuff. They might have had a really hard day. They might just be really stressed. They might just be in this fight or flight part of their nervous system. Like They are in their fight or flight nervous system. They are 
running high, like their emotions are just running high, and so you don't have to like let that suck you into fight or flight too, just because they are. You can still, you can observe that from a peaceful perspective and just, okay, I see where they're coming from right now. Let me give them some time to cool down or whatever. Let me approach them in a friendlier way rather than trying to be right. I don't need to be right right now. I just need to say the right thing that like eases this situation and then we can talk about what's right later when we're both cooled down or something like you know what I mean so um give people the benefit of doubt they might be going through a lot and like most of the time after conflicts are resolved both parties will usually end up apologizing in certain ways and they'll you know say oh I was I've been stressed about this or I've been dealing with this other thing and I'm sorry I took I kind of took a little bit of that out on you and a lot of times we're projecting like our deeper emotions on each other and it's it's really toxic and harmful but it's also how we grow and how we make each other stronger and stuff like I know I'm on a more emotionally fit person and I have more positive vibrations because other people have spilled their toxins on me and I've spilled my toxins on other people and we've grown and learned from it so it's actually not a bad thing it's not a like something to be super upset about and I can go on with the rest of my day actually feeling like it was a positive experience like look I'm making a video on it to maybe help someone else that's going through a similar thing rather than like sitting here and dwelling on it the rest of the day and letting it like ruin the rest of my day i'm gonna get done recording this video and have an amazing rest of the day filled with beautiful vibrations filled with more emotional intelligence and like it's like i kind of like expose some of the anger and victim mentality that was inside of me and i can work on those things now and it's beautiful so it's a positive experience actually you know nothing's actually good or bad in this world it's all it only has whatever meaning we put to it. So next time you're getting in a heated situation, just remember, ask yourself how it's a blessing in disguise. Remember that like they might be projecting some things on you and it, you may not deserve it. You are responsible for showing the world how to treat you, but you're not responsible for people mistreating you. You're just responsible for how you respond to that mistreatment. You know what I mean? I. If I was a little bit more emotionally intelligent in this situation, I would have remembered for a second, oh, okay, I see what's happening. I actually know my truth, so I can be calm in my truth because I know I'm like right in my truth or whatever in this situation. Doesn't mean I'm better than the other person or whatever, like they're, I'm right and they're wrong, but like I'm, I'm standing in my truth and I'm secure in that. So I don't have to let their projection of how they feel affect my state right now. I can just chill and observe it more so and then also have the emotional intelligence to maybe show up with some compassion. If this person's mistreating me, maybe they have a heart, maybe someone's mistreated them. Maybe they're mistreating themselves and this is a cry for help. It's a projection of that and this is how it's gonna heal. Maybe I should show them some more compassion and you know, how can I, and like any situation, even if, some, if someone's being completely immature or something or just completely ignorant or whatever, like it's still a chance for you to take the higher road. It's still a chance for you to rise above it. And even if someone's completely attacking you, you can say, I choose not to feel attacked because I'm not a victim. I choose to just observe their perspective with no emotion tied to it. I just observe their perspective, observe mine. I don't necessarily place judgment on either of right or wrong or good or bad. I just observe what it is and then decide what I want to feel regardless of the scenario decide what emotions I want to carry inside of me and have compassion for them. You know, if anyone is mistreated you, they probably got mistreated or they're not treating themselves right or loving themselves enough or they're probably not meditating enough. They're probably not breathing correctly. I keep talking all fast and then like not breathing correctly in these videos sometimes. That's why I pause to take an accurate diaphragm breath and put myself back into like the right nervous system to be more responsive rather than reactive so I hope this helps I could talk for hours on this stuff emotional intelligence and stuff is one of my favorite subjects emotional fitness really because you can be emotionally intelligent but fitness is like how prepared are you when these emotions do come up you know like your physical fitness is like you could know all, everything you need to know about physical fitness mentally but if you don't have like a certain amount of energy in your body and a certain amount of muscle mass or a certain amount of like whatever then you're not gonna be fit and ready to respond in a challenging situation if like 
someone's attacking your family and you're really fit, you can protect them easier or whatever. So the same thing as someone's mentally attacking you and you're more emotionally fit, you can like kind of defend yourself easier. You cannot let it affect you as much and you can show up with compassion and kindness and love in those moments and and choose to learn from those moments rather than letting them bring you down. So I hope that episode helps a little bit. I really appreciate all your guys' comments and love. Like this, the channel's growing crazy fast lately. Like really appreciate that. So good vibes all around. Peace and blessings. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification bell. Drop a comment. Say what up to all the uh, kindred spirits in this beautiful community. And we'll catch you tomorrow on another episode of Creator Success. Bless.